Rehearsals are really busy at the moment, um, really intense. There's a heap to learn. She's got lots of long solos, this poor girl. Again, with the, those solos, it's more about how she's telling the story through her dance rather than just steps. One of the most amazing things about what we do is getting to be someone else and to work out what actions work best and what movements work best in order to portray the character and the story at the same time. It's tough, <laughs> but exciting. Even though it's a Cinderella that's been in the repertoire before, it'll certainly have a freshness about it because we'll all be investing different things in it because we're starting from a different place. When you revisit a role, you can because um, you already know the choreography and you do know a bit about the char character anyway, you can always tweak it and make it something else or make it more of what you made it last time. And this time actually he's changing some things and um, uh, just make it better. So lots of new dancers in new roles which is always exciting because you can often find uh, they discover sort of different elements to the characters. Cinderella I think is a really lovely, genuine human being. She's not in a great place at the moment because she's still quite upset about her mother dying and the way she's being treated by her stepmom and stepsisters. And she knows that she's hard done by, but there's nothing she can do about it. And the mother is present all the way through the story in the form of a rose, which is, uh, Cinderella places at her mother's grave. And this rose motif comes all the way through the ballet. And also in this reading, the fairy godmother is incredibly influenced by all the things that go in to make the mother in Cinderella's head. I'm really excited to be dancing the role of Cinderella and I hope to see you there.